Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so we recently came back from White Hill Country Park. So in this video we were just going to give you a bit of a tour um, and show you what we got up whilst we were away. So one of the reasons we chose this site was um, Ilya's location. Our son wanted to go to Key West, one of the splash parks down there. Um, it's uh, a sister site to the one in Poole um, that we've been to before and um, yeah, we thought we'd take a little trip down there. Um, and due to its location, it was sort of central to a number of things that we wanted to go and sort of explore uh, the town, the, the zoo, obviously the splash park and um, yeah, a number of other sort of places. So uh, for us, yeah, we thought we'd head down there, try it out for a few days and see how we got on. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll give you a bit of a explore of the park um, and show you what we found out whilst we were there. And um, like I say, if you're considering going down to this location, hopefully this will give you an idea of what to expect. So this is the main road, actually uh, navigating to the park that is only sort of one way in. And it does go single track at times. Um, so yeah, there is plenty of sort of pull off areas or waiting areas. So again, uh, yeah, there's plenty of space for traffic to pass if, if there is anything coming the other way. And as you come into the park here, you'll see the, uh, see the coned off section on the left. And again, you can pull into that and then walk over to the right hand side, which is where reception is. And then you'll be greeted by one of the ground staff who will actually sort of take you to your pitch uh, and just show you sort of where uh, the electric point is and that kind of thing. And this is your main area here on the right hand side in terms of entertainment, shops and, and that kind of thing. Uh, the, the road to your left now, that it takes you up to the static uh, area of the van, so again, you can go for a wander around there, but um, there is no touring pictures up there. And then these are your sort of touring area where you, you've got Coombe, Coombe Meadow and uh, Great Orchard. Now they, what they do is they do have a mixture of um, touring caravans, uh, motorhomes and tents here so yeah you are sort of all placed together but um, yeah I'd like say it's there's, there's no big deal really so this was our pitch and what you'll see is there isn't huge amounts of space so you obviously got your awning and your, your your car space but apart from that you are quite close to the next uh, touring um, pitch so again if you're looking for loads of space this might not be the best site for you but um, yeah like I say it was, it was fine for us for what we needed so this is one of the parks um, on site again there's a few dotted around um, and again yeah like I say enough things to for, for the, keep these smaller children entertained and then yeah your sort of uh, washing up area and then your toilet block and again looks like these were sort of spruced up quite recently because um, yeah quite nice inside and clean for, for certainly the time we were there and then just further down here behind this bush you've got your Elson point and um, actually a, a dog washing area. So um, yeah, nice little touch. Um, and again, yeah, we ended up using that all after one of our trips, which was a bit muddy at times. So yeah, that came in handy. And then sort of a basic field. So as you follow the road round by the toilets, this is where it takes you into the second uh, touring area, the Great Orchard. And again, a really good size, um, but all I would say, again, it's sloped in places, so uh, a strong recommendation would be is to bring some extra blocks with you, just so again, and, um, yeah, if you are, you can help the steadies in terms of obviously getting the right height and, and you don't overwind them, but um, apart from that, yeah, sort of a, a nice area. And again, you do share this with the camping pods, but there is only sort of six to eight of those in this area. Um, but again, you can see from this ang angle this, the kind of slope that you could be sort of seeing if you're sort of placed here. So yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a call with reception and finding out what your where your plot is, so you've got an idea. So we're now back at the top of the park, and what I will do is I'll leave the the map layout in the description below. 
um, but again the top of the park is where you've got your holiday homes your static vans so um, yeah like you say it's it's an area that you can have a little wander around and at the very top of that there is um, an area for taking your dogs um, again good sort of running area all enclosed um, so yeah we'll have a little sort of uh, wander around but this is sort of taking you back up to the main area now um, and they've got a number of different things here certainly during the summer months where you've got sort of an outdoor bar and ice cream parlor there the building up on the right hand side is your laundrette so they've got that on site and then obviously you've got your main pool area one good thing about the pool is you don't need to pre-book that it is just a case of turning up so that's really good um, like I say it's um, I wouldn't say it's freezing it is heated but again it's certainly fine on a, a summer's day but um, if it's sheltered then yeah it might be a little bit chilly and the building over the far side is the new gym that they've built an indoor pool but you do have to book that and that is a, an extra charge um, but certainly plenty of sort of chill out areas up in this space and this is uh, where you get to your sort of main bar and entertainment and it is up the uh, higher level here where you go to gain access to that and then you've got a fast food and a restaurant there just to your right so this is the Hayloft bar and restaurant area and again just a really nice place just to chill out of an evening um, but like I say there's plenty of spaces where you can sort of just have a, a little wander around um, have a seat have a beer sort of thing so yeah you're not restricted to just this one location and here on the right like I said is the new gym area but again it has an indoor pool but it's something that you have to book and pay for So this is inside the, the Hayloft bar and again this is more of your adult side, there is no sort of kids entertainment so they will have live music down the far end um, but certainly yeah it's the uh, granary bar the other side which is where you'll get the sort of kids section and entertainment. So they have a, a number of different areas for the children to keep them occupied, obviously this is the soft play area which is a, a fair size. Just out here is the second bar, the granary, and again this is where you'll have your bingo and kids entertainment of an evening. Not massive, so if that's the kind of thing, I would suggest you get there early. And then obviously you've got your arts and craft, which is open daily, and again you can go in and use. In terms of an arcade, it's sort of quite basic. Some of the older machines here, but um, again, some of the old goody ones from, in my view. So um, yeah, something here just so... Uh, keep them occupied if that's the kind of thing they're looking for and like I say another sort of chill out space but this side is more of your sort of uh, child friendly area where the other side is sort of more of your adults so when we're away we do like a, a good swim on a, a number of occasions so I'll often take the girls for a little splash um, as I said sort of earlier, like I say, it's not the warmest of pools, but again, on a nice summer hot day, again, it's a lovely place just to sort of chill out and relax um, and, and cool down. But um, yeah, like I say, it's uh, yeah, just a real nice area just to unwind and have fun with the kids. And, and like I said, one of the key nice things for once is, again, you're not restricted on A, trying to get a time. Um, or racing around to make sure that you keep that so it is just sort of turn up and swim as you like which is yeah we found to be sort of a, a massive change to most sites so yeah really good so this is the view from the second plot so in, in the great orchard um, and again there's another play area up here but down on the far side there um, at the end there is another gate um, and that is sort of takes you all the way down to um, Stoke Gable. Um, so again, it's a really nice walk. Probably takes about sort of a good 25 minutes to get down to the area. But again, it's a, just a, a nice, pleasant walk. Um, and once you get down there, there's um, a number of things that takes you down to the sea. So uh, obviously you can sort of do a bit of crabbing. Um, but yeah, just a really nice area and, and this part 
obviously yes depending on the tide if it's in or out um you can walk down the the side of it if not then you'll need to go into the main town um roads um to get around but um yeah just a, a just a pleasant area and you've got like a restaurant there on the left and again whilst the tide's out yeah i've got this area to do some crabbing but um yeah honestly it's just a really nice area just to have a little wander around and again if you've bought paddle boards and that kind of thing yeah perfect location for that um and there is sort of canoe hire here as well um so yeah a, a really good day out sort of just in this one location if you make um, a day of it so as i said at the beginning the beach is only about sort of 10 minutes away from the actual site and the same with uh, Key West, which is one of the sort of water parks that Jack's been going on about, which is just coming into view there. And again, yeah, really nice location. And you've got the pub here, which is of a really good size. So yeah, you should get seated in there quite easily. And then just the other side of that, you have this park. And again, you've got um, sort of crazy golf, boating area, both in pedalos and bumper boats, which I didn't realize my kids have never been on. So um, yeah one of the areas that we headed to just so again they could have a bit of fun so yes it was nice obviously getting the kids on something they hadn't done before but um yeah by the time i actually got off these boats i was absolutely soaked because um yeah those three against me didn't end well but um yeah like i say it's good to sort of go on these kind of things that i haven't seen for yeah a number of years so uh, yeah funny old times And that's the key for me, just seeing all these sort of happy, smiling faces. And again, that's about just making memories with the kids, something that they'll remember and um, yeah, look back on. Now, you can't go to a seaside town and not end up having a cheeky little game of uh, crazy golf. But this one was um, over the hill. Um, from where we were just because it was um, a, a pirate theme one which was slightly better than where the, the bumper boats were but um, like you say it's um, only sort of a, a 10 15 minute walk up over the other side um, and again they've got some other bits and bobs they've got a cinema and a uh, pier and, and so forth um, this side so yeah worth having a, a little explore around but um yeah, I'd say it got a bit competitive as, as usual, but um, not on my, on, my part this time. Right, hit this now. It's alright. Should be in for four. Maybe not. In for five. And obviously this is us heading back down um, from the, where the crazy golf was. But obviously, yeah, really nice beach. Um, and again, good waves considering. Um, so again, if you're thinking about sort of bodyboarding, that kind of thing, I, I think the waves were certainly good enough for that whilst we were there. Um, so yeah, worth uh, a bring if, if that's something that you're looking to do. But um, yeah, well, it seems to be quite a lot going on and people down there making sort of um, uh, sand art with the rakes and stuff but um yeah nice location and really close to the actual site itself obviously there's lots to do in and around the area but the other place we went to was the zoo um and uh, a good thing with this one is you've got morrison's right next door so again if you need to do some kind of food shop um again it's right on your doorstep And, and with Paint and Zoo, certainly have a look online for prices because um, when we were there, they were doing a deal where a, a paying adult got in two children for free. Um, so yeah, a, a good deal um, whilst we were there. And again, it's just your usual sort of uh, zoo, you know, the normal sort of animals about. And it's of a good size as well. So yeah, you could spend a, a good sort of four or five hours here quite easily, just sort of, yeah plodding around and, and just seeing the different shows that they have on offer um, but um, yeah worth a look but um, yeah look out for the, the discounts that they offer but um, yeah just check the website
hopefully this this rig's video is giving you an idea of what to expect if you're sort of heading down to White Hill Country Park it's giving you a good idea of sort of the, the different layouts that they have here in terms of the two pitch sites um, and the entertainment and activities that they have on offer but um, yeah uh, as always if you've got any questions drop them below if you can consider subscribing sharing giving it a thumbs up to this video that would be great and I will catch you all on the next one. Cheers everybody.